name is Ethan Falcon, from Kai Sao, the Chinese, and I'm the Vice President of the Chinese Student Association. We have some uh, Chinese cultural uh, items to show you and present to you. Uh, the models are wearing a uh, chica, which is uh, based on a traditional dress from China, but uh, it was uh, created in the 1920s in Shanghai. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the traditional Chinese lantern. Uh, the Chinese lantern originates around 230 BC and is considered to be the earliest of all portable lighting devices. Uh, today it is used for celebrations and holidays. Once believed to ward off evil spirits, they uphold centuries old tradition and symbolize both China's past and emerging future. Often made of paper, Chinese lanterns are found throughout the world. Their elaborate design bring the past and present together. Thank you. The next thing I have to show you uh, are paper cuts. Uh, paper cuts uh, is an art that's about 2,000 years old from China. And this paper cut is of Confucius, uh, who lived in the 5th century BC. Uh, he was a teacher, editor, politician, and philosopher of the spring and autumn period of China. Um, his philosophy uh, emphasized personal and governmental mor morality, correctness of social relationships, justice, and sincerity. Thank you. Uh, the next paper cut is of a phoenix. Um, it's also known as Fang Huang in Chinese. Uh, it's a mythological bird of East Asia that reigns over all other birds. Uh, this is, image is often paired with a Chinese dragon. Uh, it can be has been found in uh, pottery and jade going back as far as 8,000 years. Um, it has very positive connotations. It's a symbol of high virtue and, and grace. Thank you. The next paper cut is of the Chinese character Fu. And you'll often see the character Fu uh, during the Chinese New Year as decoration. Thank you. The next uh, is uh, the Chinese knot, which is a typical folk art in China. Um, it's made of one piece of thread that is um, knotted, and uh, according to the shape and the meaning, it has, it has different meaning. In Chinese, uh, not means reunion, friendliness, marriage, love. Um, Chinese knots are often used for good wishes and uh, weddings and festivals and things like that. Uh, next, I have some uh, scrolls that were made by one of the CSA uh, members' father. Very, uh, Mr. Uh, Wang Haijun, who is a very renowned and well-known uh, calligrapher and painter in China. Uh, the first scroll is of the plum blossom, and the plum blossom is the national flower of China. Uh, it symbolizes the value of endurance, as life ultimately over uh, overcomes through time. The fragrance of the plum blossom comes from the bitterness and the coldness as the Chinese saying goes. Souls are tempered in the depths of experience, growing in inner strength and unyielding courage. The next uh, scroll is of the character for Buddha. And Buddhism has been an important part of, uh, an important religion in China since 265 BC. Uh, many Chinese philosophies and customs have been influenced by Buddhism over the centuries. Thank you. Uh, now I would like our calligraphers to uh, show us uh, some of the characters they've written. And calligraphy is an art form that is almost 4,000 years old. And Chinese characters represent the oldest uh, writing system in the world still in existence with uh, over 4,000 years. And I would like our uh, calligraphers to explain their character and um, and introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Wang. My name is Yong Xin Liu. And uh, because this year in China is the year of the snake, so I write two words, snake.
Ming here. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Ju Ming Lam, and this tour is being lucky. So, hope for all guys in here have a lucky snake here. <laughs>